Oh, hi. I, Randy tried to send a um, message in the chat that we're running just like a little behind, but I don't know that it was received. And now that I'm looking at the chat, hi everyone. Hi, the chat seems to be stuck. What's happening? Can you hear me? Can you see me? Am I coming in clear? Um, this is so strange. I can't, uh, nothing's updating in the chat. Let me see. Huh. Huh. Are you still experiencing this? Uh, yeah. Yeah, and nothing's coming in on my phone either. How strange. Okay. Well, cool. <laughs> cool. Awesome. I guess we'll just wait for it to start. Oh, here, oh, oh God, here it is. Okay, it's fixed. Whoa, uh, I don't know if anyone else was having issues, but we're fine. Don't, don't freak out like I was. Okay, hi everyone, it's Wednesday. And I'm drinking a Casamigos on the rocks because Because, 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 because the world is trash fire. So yeah, why not have some tequila on the rocks? Actually, this is very, this is very good because it's on, it's very good. This is very good because it's on Yeho. Wow, use your vocab, Kate. But really this is, it's more of a sipping tequila, you know? Um. The chat, well, was for a second. It's not coming in on my phone where I'm streaming from, which is very strange. Yeah, it's not coming in on mine. Okay, now it's, it's, uh, huh. Well, it must be a YouTube issue. So we'll just trust that it'll come back around again and I'll just yammer on. Um, okay, so here we are. It's another, oh, my friend Sarah Kleinsmith is here. Hi. Um, I decided to rename, this is sort of like a, you know how I was doing a full face of nothing but old shit? Well, I decided to rename it because I felt like this was apt, right? So now it's called the world's on fire, let's drink and put on makeup. That's just gonna be the what I'm gonna call it, but it's it's really no different from anything else. It's just me doing a happy hour live stream, drinking and putting on makeup. It's just a more clever name. <laughs> um, gosh, I'm so sorry that the chat isn't working right now, guys. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay. So basically, welcome again. Um, if you're here and oh, there are 149 people here and 101 thumbs up. So that's pretty amazing. But if you could give it a thumbs up, I'd so appreciate it. And if you aren't subscribed and you just found my channel, please subscribe. That'd be amazing as well. Um, and yeah, I just really picked out some makeup tonight that I haven't really used in a while. Some old favorites, if you will. Um, wow, the chat is super frozen. Is that, is that what you're experiencing? Experiencing? I mean, I, the most recent comment I'm seeing is I like snow from Lauren Boylist. Yeah. 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 Me too. Okay. Well, I hope, I hope that YouTube fixes this because I really, um, this isn't any fun when there's no chat. So, um, okay, cool. So what do I want to say? Subscribe, thumbs up, Yadish Manabata. Um, the last night I saw a lot of people in the chat talking about the debate last night. Um, sort of de definitely the impetus for me to rename the live stream as such. And uh, it was, I mean, Jake Tapper on, on MSNBC, I actually put it on, CNN. Oh, sorry, it was CNN, sorry. Um, 
he said it best of all, and I'm not going to be able to do it justice, but if you don't follow me on Instagram, definitely go and check out my stories because I put it on there. He basically was like, this is, he called it a trash fire. He called it like three different things. And I was like, this is, this is everything to me. Um, and then Dana Bash said it, just said it. She was like, you're being too nice. It was a shit show or something like that. So it's like, wow. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. That's exactly right. So um, I feel like I, I don't really have any, like, any extra things tonight. I don't have... Well, I could scroll back up and see what happened in the chat that is frozen. So let me do that. Ryan K is here. A lot of the Good Job Gang is here. We love that. Um, if you're new to my channel, this is a happy hour live stream. Um, there are drinks, there's chats, sometimes there's snacks, there's pop culture, there's opinions, there's camaraderie, there's just all around good times that happen. So join on in, join in on the fun. I'm really annoyed about the chat. <laughs> I want to hear you guys. I want to hear what you have to say. Um, I'm almost wondering if I should, I would actually like restart, like completely restart this, but I don't know that that would do anything. Right? I mean, it was kind of frozen before we even got started. Yeah, I don't, I mean, I don't think that's going to work. So, um, all right, well, I guess I'm just on my own and, uh, I'll just do a romper room. Well, there, there aren't that many people to announce because the chat is very small right now, right now, but Ryan K is here, Kim McConnell, Jenny Pie, Tori Page, Tony Page, uh, Ryan K again. A very happy life. Um, it's almost all GJG from what I can see right now. So, yeah. I just, I just checked Twitter and it's looking like this is site wide. A lot of, a lot of people are complaining about live chat being down. Okay, this is site wide. Okay. Um, I don't know what to do. What do, what do we do about that? We just maybe hope it comes back. Okay. Wow. What a bummer. Oh, Linda, Linda of Glitter Follow said it just unfroze for me. Okay, so there's hope. There's hope. Thank you, Linda, for texting me. Um, we'll see. I mean, we have pretty good internet here, so anyway. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, it's happening. It's happening. I mean, for now. <laughs> Okay, the chat is moving. Great. Toss. I see your chat. I see you. I hear you. Muhammad. Okay, yes. New stuff is coming in. Um, we're just gonna we're just gonna do our thing here because there's there's nothing there's nothing we could do. This this feels very appropriate for a live stream that's called The World's on Fire, let's drink and put on makeup, don't you think? I do. So I think it's frozen again. I know it's frozen again. We're just it's it is what it is. Um okay, so I have this really lovely pimple. This is giving me like teenage vibes right now. So I mean, we're gonna have to cover this this baby up, this doozy. Um Okay, so let's just let's just start into the makeup. I, I really do hope the chat starts picking up um, or coming back because it's sort of um, pretty one sided here without it. But I am going to <laughs> Tony Page just sent me an email. I can see and hear you. God bless. <laughs> Thank you, Tony. <laughs> um, okay, well, all right, so I'm just gonna start with, this is the quickest I've ever started into makeup, but maybe this will, maybe you'll like this. So um, I'm going to use some Rare Beauty right off the bat. And this is the Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer. And if you're new here, everything that I use is going to be in the description, in the description box. 
So if you miss something, you can always look there. I also want to tell you guys that I'm wearing my doomsday ring, which I've showed you before, but I absolutely love it. It's by this company called Little Rooms and it is linked and also my what the fuck ring. Um, very thematic tonight. Okay, great. And I'm going to move on to the Rare Beauty um, Foundation. And while I do that, I'm gonna take a drink. Let's all take a drink since I can't see the chat. <laughs> um, so last night as a palate cleanser, we, you know, we watched the debate. It was so maddening. We, we ordered, we ordered wings. That wasn't maddening. That was delicious. It was the only thing we had to hold on to. And we had like, we had a plethora of beverages available to us. <laughs> I'm actually surprised I, I feel good today because I did a little bit more mixing than, you know, one should probably do. Um, but anyway, we watched the debate and there was one point where I was, you know, I don't know, up doing something in the kitchen or something. And I just had to literally like scream into the abyss. I was like, Aah! just, oh. Maddening, maddening. <clears throat> so, um, so then we did a palate cleanser and we stayed up super late and watched this ridiculous horror movie called Sleepaway Camp. And it was a delight. I mean, it was the most 80s. Have you seen it? Well, I won't be able to tell because as of now I can't see the chat, but it is absolutely ridiculous. It's fabulously eighties. And it was, um, a Joe Bob Briggs. It was on his show. If you've never watched his show, it's a lot of fun. He basically is just a personality and it's on shutter. Is that what it's on? Uh, shutter. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my friend Sarah just texted me. I've seen that. I'm getting texts and emails from people because the chat isn't available. I've seen that movie. So he's a really fun personality. Um, and I don't even know, like, it's not good. I mean, it's not good, but that's, that's part of the joy of it, part of the fun. And there's lots of inappropriately short shorts on men. Just so many. And strangely enough, I really do want to, I hope this gets moving because I really do want to hear people have seen it because everyone in it seemed as though they were from Long Island. Like it was like the whole cast had just been, you know, flown in from Long Island, <laughs> which I mean, it's fine. I mean, it's, it's great, but it was also just very specific. It was very specific. So... We stayed up super late watching that. And that's pretty much it. I'd love to hear what you did, but I can't. <laughs> Everything's so great. Everything's so good. Oh my God. <laughs> it's like YouTube heard about the title of this video and was like, oh yeah? Oh yeah, you think that's on fire? Watch this. Cool. No worries. Um, do you have any more info on this? Not really. Okay. Great. All right. Well, this is a fun experiment. You'll see how boring it is when I can't see your comments. Okay, so I started to realize I think I'm getting pastier or all the skincare I'm doing, like all the exfoliating is kicking in 
because some of my foundations that are quite light, that were, were fine, are too dark for me all of a sudden. So either I'm slowly becoming a vampire, or I don't know what it is, but like, I don't know, it's weird. I tried to wear, okay, okay, cool. I tried to wear my, my Fenty Pro Filter, and oh, now the chats are coming in. Oh my God, they're coming in at a crazy pace. Coming on in. Hold on. I just literally dropped everything. Oh, well, it looks like they're continuing to come in steadily, so I think. Okay. I think the dam is first. Oh my God. Thank, thank the Lord. Okay. Whew. Wow, we got a lot to catch up on now, folks. I can see you now. Deval52, I can see you. Yes, we're back. We're back. <laughs> Amber R, holy shit, it was like I commented and the dam broke. Glitter Fallout is here. Hey, girl. Um, Patricia said, I said prayers. Guys, prayers work. Case in point. Live chat is, is, is back on. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so relieved. I hope it doesn't go out again. I'm so, I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, let me scroll up. It's mostly just people being like, what's going on? Oh my God, Deanna P, sleepaway camp. Best quote of the movie, correct. Eat shit and die, Ricky. And then Ricky says, eat shit and live, Bill. Sickest bird. <laughs> Of the it is it's such a sick burn and it's like so like he says it was such conviction and such confidence it's it's just it's brilliant cheryl adams i'm new here i found you from samantha marsh thank you so much oh that's what i wanted that's what i wanted see this is why we need the live chat samantha march who i mean if you don't know who that is you basically i don't know what you're doing with your life or your choices Sarah Kleinsmith, God hears all YouTube prayers. That's right. Um, so Scar Sistar's Beauty is here too. Hi, Danny. Okay. Wait, now I've just had too many thoughts in my head. Samantha March. She put out a video yesterday. It was like a favorites fails. Lo I love those kind of videos. And she was so sweet. She does a monthly, um, like a creator spotlight. And so she put me in her damn spotlight. It was so sweet. I want to thank uh, Samantha March and anyone who came over from her channel. She really is just, she, she said that the, the kindest things and I was very touched and, you know, I've, I've been kind of like communicating with her over Marco Polo a little bit. And she really is just the sweetest, most genuine person. So if you, I mean, if you're not subscribed to Samantha March, you definitely should. She does gorgeous makeup looks. She does great reviews. She's, you know, she also hit a hundred thousand recently, which is amazing. Um, okay. So let me take a drink. Oh my God. Nicole, would anyone have been surprised if Trump walked over to Biden and literally bitten his head off? <laughs> no, I think that that's what was next. I think that's what's next, actually. Okay, the other thing that I... Oh, Sherry Ford. Sherry Ford is here. Sherry Ford is here. She sent a Venmo. She said, well, this has been a hell of a start. Just tell us stories and pounce shit on your face and we'll be happy. <laughs> Thanks, Sherry. Thank you for the Venmo. Okay, so. So the other thing I wanted to mention is because Danny's here from Scars to Stars Beauty. I've been wanting, I, I've been wanting to talk about her channel for a while. I love Danny, and please, like, her channel needs to grow. So for the love of God, please go visit Danny's channel, cha channel, Dan Danny's channel, um, and also follow her on Instagram. She does the most gaga gorgeous 
eyeshadow looks. I mean, makeup looks in general, but her eyeshadow looks are like, like guys, I'm not, I'm not blowing smoke here. Okay. They are stunning. As Mel Thompson would say, they are stunning. <laughs> Slow it down for the bitches in the back. Stunning. Okay. And you're, you're missing out if you're not subscribed to her. And I just, I just want her channel to get more plays. So please, please. Uh, I'll come bite your head off if you don't. How about that? How about that? How about them apples? Um, okay, so again, the person I just talked about, the channel is called, I don't wanna get, Scars to Stars Beauty. She's literally in the chat. She's literally in the chat. Danny, will you put your, um, whatever, just put your channel in the chat or whatever you want to put in there, your Instagram and stuff like that. And then after I, after this video renders, I will go back in the description box and add it. Um, okay. I'm so glad the chat is back guys. I was like, <sighs> I was really going through it. Um, Okay, moving on. So we've gotten as far as the foundation. Oh, yeah, but isn't that weird that... Isn't that weird that some of my foundations are suddenly too dark for me? Because remember, so Sherry Ford sent me this, and I'm obsessed with it. And I wore it for a live stream, and I wore it for an Instagram photo I did, and it looked beautiful, like it photographs beautifully and somehow I got away with it, but I <laughs> tried it again and it was way too dark. So of course she's an angel person and she said, please send it back to me and I'll send you a lighter shade, which I'm gonna do. But like, isn't that, I don't know what happened. Like, I don't know if I'm just exfoliating so much that like all the layers of my face have just come off, <laughs> just come off in my hands. And I'm just like, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, who's to say? Okay. Yes. Re the real die babe, the babe. Yes. The chat is working now. It's all happening. Okay. Well, I'm just, I've got a lot to catch up on. Sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. Here's something else. We're gonna move on to cloud paint because I haven't pulled one of these out in a long time. So a couple people, DVAL52, as well as Justine, contacted me before the live stream and updated me. Now, if you're a person who can't handle the vow spoilers, just like, I don't know, plug your ears for the next few seconds. But let me actually pull up the Um, article. Oh, here it is. Claire Bronfman, who is, you know, those two sisters who are the Seagram's heirs, who like basically started Nexium with all their Seagram's money. Um, Claire Bronfman has been sentenced to 81 months in, in prison. Right? So good. I mean, that's probably not enough. Let's be honest, but I guess we'll take what we can get. Oh, I'm done with the spoiler. Okay, I'm waving now. You can come back, come back. Come back. It's a tough sentence. Okay, sorry, oh, sorry, no, we're not, I'm not gonna say anything more. Okay. So now I'm going to move on to cloud paint and you guys know, like this has been cloud paint, ha, cloud paint has been one of my number ones since day one. I have had this for over three years. <laughs> this is cloud paint and storm. It is my favorite shade. It is Aspen. It's Aspen in a tube. This is one of my favorite fall shades. Um, and I might actually, I've been wanting 
one day I did a whole look, like eyeshadow, blush, lips, with just this. So if that's something of interest to you guys, I mean, obviously it's pretty damn simple, but it's gorgeous. And if that's something you'd like to see, let me know. Okay, great. People love to see that. Okay, good to know. Okay, <laughs> CC, Kate dissed Long Island and we heard, I didn't diss Long Island. I said that sleepaway camp seemed like they literally got their entire cast, like bust in from Long Island. Did I say that was bad? I think that you feel bad about Long Island. Maybe that's it, huh? How's that for gaslighting, huh? Well, maybe that's how you feel and you projected that on me. Speaking of gaslighting, has anyone listened to the Dixie Chicks new album, Gaslighter? I've never heard Natalie Maines more angry and that's a very bold statement because you know, one of my favorite albums was, um, not, uh, I'm not ready to make nice. I don't know if that was the name of the album or. That's the single, okay, whatever the, the name. Okay, anyway, um, if you listen to her album, this new one, or their, their album, guys, her husband really did her wrong. <laughs> there is a song called Tights on My Boat, I think it's what it's called, or yeah, Tights on My Boat, where it's literally about the tights that she found of another woman's on her boat. It's intense. It's, I mean, I'm not mad about it. I'm sorry, the chicks, not the Dixie chicks, it's the chicks. So I'm gonna have to like do a lot of scrubbing of my brain to get that out. Jerry Alexandrian, oh, what a, what a fabulous name, says, I believe you started using a vitamin C and a vitamin A based on the vlog. That's probably what is lightening up your complexion. That's it. That's it, Jerry. That's it. Thank you. Well, I don't know. I guess I'm just going to have to like lighten my foundations, you know? <laughs> Kelly Cam, who wears tights on a boat? Exactly. That kind of girl. Pirates? Pirates too. Pirates too. People who own yachts and they have like parties on yachts. <laughs> Amber R, who the F wears tights? Another pretty good point. Pretty good point. Um, <laughs> wow, people are like, their minds have been blown about the word tights. Tights. I have some tights. I have a couple of pairs. I haven't worn them in years, but I have them. I should probably throw them out. What do they say? If you haven't worn something in like six months, you should throw it out. Um, <laughs> N N Nifla, I don't know how to pronounce your name. I'm so sorry, but I've s seen you comment so many times and you're lovely. And Flower Ch Chalik Alvis. The live isn't working here. I'm so sorry. If the live isn't working for you, I really, hopefully it'll come back around for you. I think it's just taking some time. Um, okay, moving on. Well, actually not moving on. Cause what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this. Well, now I'm just basically doing what I already said I was going to do. So <laughs> I guess we can skip that video. Um, although I'm not using this as an eyeshadow, but I'm going to go ahead. And put on my lips. And there's going to be another lip product at the end. Don't worry, but this is a part of the look. Okay. Next. Wait, did I, did I do concealer? I should be able to tell. I feel like I did it without thinking. 
I did it, right? No. <laughs> wow. Worst makeup YouTuber ever. Oh, I did? Did I do it? No. No, no, I didn't. Okay, no. Okay, oh, okay, no. All right. So I'm using the Uma Stay Woke Concealer. This is in the shade White Pearl T2. And I, I don't think I did it because I would have done this if I had done it. Yeah. I, hmm. Well, if I did it, I'm doing it again. <laughs> We're going to be really, really concealed. <laughs> Ronji, stop confusing us. We're in a delicate state today. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You and me both. What would I do without you guys? I would completely forget all the steps of my makeup routine. Also, going back to the debate last night, Chris Wallace, like, <sighs> can we get someone else in there? Can we get Jake in there? Can we get even Megan Kelly? Just someone with some balls. It's just like he got steamrolled because he's, he seems like a very nice man, but he has that like, I'm an old man and I'm trying to get in there and sir, sir, I, I, I say, sir, I, I, I'm just like, Chris, this isn't working. This isn't working. <laughs> More balls of steel, less milk toast. Go. I mean, listen, I'm, that's a tough job and I really felt for him, but I was also like, Or Rachel Maddow. Okay. So now that I did concealer, wait, did I get enough on this doozy of a pimple here? I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it's good. Here's the thing with blemishes. I feel like you can go. It's so easy to go too far. Because at the end of the day, you're not, you just can't completely cover it up. You just got to do your best to move on. Okay, so now I'm moving on to one of my faves. It's better off right here. I think I missed her. Damn it. I can't find her. Hmm. Okay, she'll come back. Um, Evan, he was trying to be respectful to the president, but it took an hour and 10 minutes before he put his foot down. I'm not even going to get in. I mean, okay. Yeah, sure. But I mean, I'm not even going to get into that. Can we just, actually, we'll get into it. Can we just all agree that like things aren't going as normal? Can can we just act accordingly to how things are actually going? Like we, this isn't 2016 anymore. All bets are off. Anything goes. So act accordingly, Chris Wallace. Okay, go, moving on to, you know, this is my second of these. This is my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Powder. And I'm gonna use my bunny brush. Oh yeah, another thing, another thing. Um, oh, where is it? Here it is. So guys, it's the 30th of September. It's the last day to get my BK Beauty bundle, my BK Beauty brush bundle. So I, shoot, I think I forgot to put it in the description box, but if you, it's easy to find on the site. If you wanna get in on it, go to the BK Beauty website and use the code K10 for 10% off. And I, 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 you're not gonna regret it. You also just like need this brush. 
you just do. So. Oh, Evan said I ordered today. Thank you so much. People are saying they should add a mute button to the debates, which I which I missed that part of the conversation. And then Randy said, hot take. The mute button is a bad idea because Biden will still be able to hear and be distracted by Trump. And since the audience won't hear Trump being a jackass, they'll think Joe is losing it. <laughs> True. Let's not make it any harder for Joe. Let's let's just not. How about that? Is anyone watching Lovecraft Country on HBO? Linz Taylor said yes. Yes, and I haven't talked about that a lot. Um, we're not caught up on the latest episode, but it is phenom, phenomenal. So, also, I'm caught up on The Vow. But maybe I should save it. Maybe I should save it. Because um, I honestly, it's been a few days and I think I might need, <laughs> I might need to rewatch it. Um, I have lots of thoughts. Actually, they're all coming back to me right now. It's all coming back. It's all coming back to me now. Okay, so now we're moving on to brows, I think. Yeah. Wait. No. Bronzer. Bronzer. An oldie but a goodie using my... Wait my uh physician's formula butter bronzer i wasn't trying to imitate celine dion sorry i was just i don't know what i was doing i don't have an answer okay so now i'm gonna try not to get this in my hair <laughs> I forget that I can't be too reckless with the bronzer because we don't want the white hair picks it up, you know? Oh, and by the way, um, I linked this through Ulta. It's on sale right now. I feel like it's always on. Is it always on sale? I don't know. Anyway, it's on sale <laughs> if you want it. Okay, some thoughts that don't entirely spoil, spoil the vow for you. That shot when Keith Ranieri is like doing a photo shoot with the wind a blowing through his locks and his legs are dangling, just dangling. Like the camera pans to his feet don't touch the ground. And like he's wearing socks. He's like little Edie. He's basically like Lily Tomlin in an oversized chair and I'm like this is not this is not what you want if you're trying to be like a powerful leader you know what I mean like listen I'm not shading people who are short okay it's fine but like I'm always gonna shade him and I'm gonna use this to do that I mean I think it was like an exceptionally tall chair but still I feel like the camera person was like, shade. <laughs> Glitter fallout. How incredibly lucky we are, are we that there is a pro camera crew there for the whole thing so we could inject all of, yes. Hashtag grateful. Hashtag grateful. Why am I just, I am just really dropping shit left and right. <laughs> I don't even know what that was. I hope it wasn't something I'm trying to use. All right. Well, we'll find out, won't we? Where did I get this headband? I linked it in the description box just for you. Oh my God. It's from Madewell.
Okay. I think that's enough. We don't want to go too crazy with, with that. Cause you know, I'm becoming a vampire slowly. So yes, Sarah Kleinsman, the kissing thing is so creepy. They kiss on the lips. We did find out more in this episode of the vow about like it, things get revealed. I don't know that they were like shocking things. I think it was like very, it was very gratifying and, and satisfying to, to hear, you know, hear it said out loud. But I wasn't like, uh, honestly, I, I, I already Googled all this and like that live stream I did with Sarah and Michelle where Sarah had like all the spoilers of what, what's happened. I mean, nothing's really surprising me now, but I'm still enjoying the series. Enjoying might be the wrong word. I'm intrigued with the series. Uh-huh, 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 Okay, although I will say, maybe an unpopular opinion, but I don't care because it's true. Keith Raniere has great hair and I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. It's very, it's like this perfect thickness, the way it falls and is like feathered. I'm not, I'm not saying we should like the feathered, but I'm saying if you're going to feather your hair, that's how you want it. Unpopular opinion. Just saying. It's quality hair. That's like, I'm just, that's all I'm saying. It's quality. Okay. I had to get that off my chest. I really did. Um, what phase of the hair are we talking about? It doesn't even matter. Like, the, it doesn't even matter what phase of the hair we're talking about because his hair grows out of his head the same way in all phases. And it's, it's nice. It's just, we don't like the style and we don't like him. So, you know, <laughs> Randy looking like, <laughs> looking like Husky nerd Jesus. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was exactly the moment. That's exactly how that's exactly how you said when we were watching Bram Stoker's Dracula. And you said, <laughs> looking like Gary Sinise, no, looking like Lieutenant Dan in a top hat. <laughs> I, my hands are sweating. I'm sorry. It just really got me. It's really, it really, really got me. Okay. So this is Glossier Boy Brow. Let me pull out a mirror since I'm not, I don't have one as of now. Okay, so if you guys haven't tried Glossier, I do have a, it's not a code. I hate that it's not a code. It's just a link. It's a link. It's nothing special. But if, oh, damn it. But if it's your first time trying Glossier, it's the 10% off link and it's in my description box. Um... I actually just repurchased this boy brow. Who knows how many of these I've had? I mean, I want to say I've had like at least 10 of these. It's, it's my most repurchased makeup item, period. Period. Oh, maybe I should do that video. My most repurchased makeup items. I don't know why I had to do that voice, but Julia R. Welcome to the Good Job Gang. Welcome. Yes, queen, yes. Okay, Amber R, back to the hair. I feel like shorter, wavy, oh, it's okay. But when he gets to the unwashed Jesus hair, now, is it unwashed? He washed it for that photo shoot. I guess that's what I'm focusing on. Um... I still hate Lauren and Nancy the most. And I know that's, I know that's unfair because of course the person we should hate the most is Keith. Like just goes without saying, but like I said before, and I'll say it again, there's something way more despicable about women selling other women out. You know what I mean? Or like working to oppress other women. Like, I don't, I don't want to say expect that from men, but I, 
stack buff for men, but not women. That's low, low. And Nancy, with her face, her fucking face, that like, here, let's really get in there. Get some glasses and do it for the full effect. Oh, get some glasses, okay, hold on a second, hold on. I mean, these, these glasses are better than Nancy's, but what are you gonna do? You see it? What is that? What's she doing? Stop that. Immediately. And like, here's the thing. I don't trust anyone who's like resting face is smiling. That's not natural, okay? That makes me feel like you are not self-aware. You're not checking in with yourself. <sighs> it's creepy. It's, it's creepy. She's creepy. I hate her. And Lauren, I mean, <sighs> I still go back and like replay that scene between her and Nippy because it's, it's so good. It's so, so, so good. I think I need a little more boy brow. Scars to Stars Beauty. Did I, did you watch the trailer for the craft remake, the craft legacy? No, no, I didn't know. I, I will though. You know, the craft, I missed it. You know, as if you watch my channel, you know that I completely like sidestepped the nineties, even though I grew up in them. Like I wasn't down with all that shit. You know what I mean? I wasn't emo. I wasn't grunge. I wasn't I, punk. Oh, I don't know. All those things. Like I was none of those things. I have respect for them now, but like I missed it. So I've gone back and watched the craft in recent years, but no, I, I probably should watch it again because I mean, that's just fun. Stephanie Grace Peterson. At some point, Sarah must must have been down to sleep with Keith since she went through the, with the brand. It was like she didn't realize how crazy it all was until she read the comments about the Times article. Yeah, I mean, listen. Sarah, Sarah, I'm on the fence. You know, I'm a little on the fence, okay? I'm using my Fenty. Lauren Boyless hates Sarah. I'm using... <laughs> I'm using my Fenty MVP, MVP Sculpting Brow Wax Pencil and Styler. Um, <laughs> Kelly Lund. The craft is on Showtime. I watched it after the debate. It was less scary. <laughs> Fair. Fair. Um... I don't know what I was saying. Sorry. I got, I got distracted by that comment. What was I saying? You know? Hey, you. Oh, with me? Yeah. Uh, oh, you, I think. Oh, Sarah. Sarah. I'm talking about Sarah yeah, yeah, yeah. from the vow. Lauren's on top of it. Cause she, she can't wait. <laughs> she can't wait to diss Sarah. Um, I just, like, I don't, you know, I never, of course, I don't want to victim shame, but I kind of do it, it with this cult a little bit because I, I don't, I don't understand. Like when, when you get to the point where someone's like, your best, your best, your best friend says to you, so I'm going to need some collateral and you say, oh, like collateral, like what do you, just some like deep, dark secrets that you'd never want anyone to know. Okay. Hmm. I mean, honestly, I don't, I mean, I have some things. I don't have anything like that serious. Okay. Just make it up. Just make it up. Make it up. Yeah. Like make up, you know, like, I don't know, like nippies abusing your child, like just abusing your child. Like just make it up and put it on camera. Okay. 
and then you do it? What the fuck is wrong with you? What is actually wrong with you? So yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not a, I, I'm wary of Sarah, wary. No, Ron, none of us can get over the fact that his name is Nippy, okay? It's unacceptable, but he, he is the best character on the show. <laughs> wow, we're really feathering these out, aren't we? Okay, wow, those brows took forever. So Sarah said that Nippy stands for like Anthony and like when he was little, he couldn't say it. So maybe they call him Nippy like, but then someone else said that it's short for Nippert, which is maybe some part of his name we don't know about. I don't know. I mean, that's not okay either. Like no one should be called Nippert. I mean, that's worse. Nippert is worse than Nippy. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm torn. Okay, so <laughs> we're going in with a one and done eyeshadow. Um, and I've been wanting to use this and I've been holding out on it because ColourPop needs to get their shit together. <laughs> I, I, it's, not, it's not available. I mean, it, it's sold out, okay? So if you click on the link, it's gonna say it's sold out, which is like half of their site. Also, don't get misdotted on the Hocus Pocus release today that I went online when it was supposed to release. And then, I don't know, they said that basically they work with Shopify and Shopify couldn't handle like how many people wanted to get that and it basically crashed. And that's, I believe that. I'm just annoyed because I feel like that happens with ColourPop a lot. I'm like, ColourPop, ColourPop, you have your own factory make more shit make more just make more because you know you're popular you know you're a huge thing you're a thing color pop i don't know if you know but you're a thing i think it might be like you think it's intentional to create i think it might be intentional to create like a just some people are like maddened and they're like oh my god i'm gonna sit here for three hours and wait Anyway, I was pissed today. I mean, which is just obnoxious, but I was. Yeah, so to, they're, they're releasing, they were stocking it or whatever and releasing it tomorrow. It's all happening again. Um, but anyway, back to what I was saying. So this is one of their Super Shock Shadows. This is one of my favorite formulas of eyeshadow, if not my most favorite, favorite formula of eyeshadow I have ever used, ever. And this particular shade looks really unassuming, right? You're like, oh, yay. Wow, that's great. And I don't know how well it's going to pick up on camera, but I this was given to me by Stephanie Windsor. And guys, it's like my perfect shadow. It's, let me see if I can, again, I don't know how it's going to read. Let's, let's tone this down. I don't think it's going to read, but like it, it's, no, it's not. It's not matte. Like it looks matte. You can kind of see right there. There's a little bit of like a, nope, nope, that's not it. <sighs> Damn it. Well, it's like this subtle shade, right? Like this subtle taupe, but then it has a little bit, it has a duochrome flip to it. So it's like a little bit of a shimmer, a little bit of a light purple, like opalescent flip to it so pretty. Well, we'll see if it shows up here, but let me zoom in. Patricia Hughes looks like a bruise. Okay. I mean, not how I would have described it, but sure. I mean, it's, it's purplish. So I guess Guys, you know what? That brings that brings up something else. Wow, I'm just really filled with 
different thoughts tonight. Um, so I was watching uh, Samantha March's latest video she put out today. It was uh, Will I Buy It? And I love Will I Buy It's and I now love doing them. So definitely doing more of those. And she did this gorgeous, like dark green, multi-chrome, like fall, like fierce eyeshadow. It was stunning. It was a Luke, okay, it was a Luke. And I commented and I caught this person's comment and it it's something that I, I don't wanna say I see it a lot, but in terms of negative comments, I feel like it's really common and I hate it. And it is when people give unsolicited feedback and they veil it as like caring or like helping you out and it's just nasty. And I hate that. This person like went in on her eyeshadow. <clears throat> you know what, I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna read it because I, I have it here somewhere. Hold please. Do, 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 do. Here it is. Damn it. Okay. <clears throat> me, 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 me. Okay. Please, please notch it down with this makeup. It's not flattering on you. You look gorgeous with more subtle, minimal makeup because your eyes do it all. You look like, <laughs> I'm sorry. You look like having your eyes all bruised up. No ill intent, just stating the obvious. Not the way you apply makeup, not, not the artistry, but it's just not your thing. Thanks. I hope you'll take feedback. I hope you'll take feedback well. No reason for this other than input. If you ever think it's okay to lead, leave a comment like that, I need you to fuck off. And I went in on this person because I can't with that. It was just nasty and I see it often. Again, most comments are positive, but when there's a negative comment, it's always that like, I'm just being honest and I'm trying to help you. And it's like, well, yeah, no, no one wants that. No one actually wants that. No one asked you. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Back it up, 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 back it up. And some of the, like, it's troll behavior but some of these people aren't technically trolls. They actually watch your channel. And then I guess they think they can say whatever they want to say. And we're all just gonna like take it. And I don't like that. That's what bullies do. So no, no, Nanette, no, no. Okay, now I'm gonna take a flurfy brush. Oh, did she post it? I didn't see that. Natalia said, so glad you called it out, Kate. Sam posted it on Insta later, and I'm glad. Oh, good. Good. I'm glad. Um, Elijah Ecker. It's called concern trolling. People do it for to fat folks all the time. Oh, well, that's terrible, too. I mean, you could do it for anything, you know? And then you just veil it with like, I just mean this, like, I'm, so, I'm helping you. No, you're not. You're not helping me. You're a dick. Okay, thanks. I really needed to just talk about that. I also just don't, I just don't get like caring. 
about that? Like, why would you care? Why would you, like, I can't imagine, like, I love makeup, but I don't care. Like, I can't imagine, like, seeing someone's fashion or makeup look and being like, <gasps> oh my God, I can't believe you did that today. Why? Why? You could do so much better. Like, what? Who cares? Like, actually, who cares? Why do you care? Weird. If that's what you're worried about, I would like to be you because I've got a lot of other really pressing things um, that keep me up at night. So it's definitely not Samantha March's eyeshadow look from yesterday. I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you that much. I say you tell me that much. All right, I think we're done with that. Sorry, <laughs> writing all the, co wow, this is riveting for you. Are you enjoying this? Um, oh, Ryan K. My grandma would ride my mom for gaining so much weight during her pregnancy, followed up by, followed up by, I walked out in a size four skirt. My grandma was a troll because trolls were named RIP grandma. <laughs> Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, so so your grandma was like saying how much weight your mom gained and then she was like, and there I was in my size four. Is that what you're saying? That's nice. That makes, that's, that makes you feel good, you know. Thanks, thanks mom. What did I miss? People are, Oh my God, Randy. Okay. So <laughs> yeah, our, the next door neighbor, she, she has the piano right up next to, I mean, the walls are paper thin here. They're paper thin. And, uh, I'm going to, while I'm yammering, I'm going to move on to this eyeliner, which is my favorite, favorite eyeliner. This is the Fenty Beauty fly pencil in the shade purple stuff. Um, I figured today, I know, again, I feel like this isn't picking up on camera, but I wanted to do a more wearable look tonight because the last couple times I've done, you know, a little more than you can, than you can see for yourself. Um, wow. Okay. There's so the Fenty liner, the wear on it. I mean, I noticed it was great, but I mean, I didn't do like a wear test or any, I mean, I don't do wear tests, so. Nope, that mirror's no good. I actually didn't blend in there. Donna Engel, hi Donna. Okay, so what I was saying was, I just remembered, sorry, I completely stopped my thought, but we have a neighbor who's learning piano and the piano is right up against the kitchen wall. And it's, I mean, yeah, it's, it's always happening. It's a thing. I mean, there are worse things, right? But, you know, 
I don't know if you, you guys probably can't hear it. It's too far away. Okay. Bye, Sassy Red. My. Great, 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 great. I maybe I'll do. I feel like these just go on so beautifully. Like there's no, I feel like I don't have to go back in on my waterline, do you know? And like, I really do, I like the Marc Jacobs, I really do. And I like the Urban Decay 24 seven, but I, splitting hairs, but I think I'd have to choose this over them. I think I would. I think what it comes down to on the interwebs and not always, but a lot of the time there's a lot of like not thinking happening. There's a lot of just like verbal vom, just like, this is my thought and I can't keep it in. I've got to say it now because I'm impulsive. <laughs> and then you're like me or just anyone else who's a YouTube creator or whatever. And then you have to remember like, there's like a lot of you, but there's one of us so then it's like boom 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 boom, 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 boom. just <laughs> and sometimes you wake up to that and it's gross so don't do that okay okay that's not gonna stop anyone from doing it but if it made one person if it made one person think before they did it i feel like i've done something and we'll never know we'll never know oh ron g just said Ron G. Ron G. I also hate the, well, you signed up for this. I was just going to say that and I, I wasn't going to go more on more of a rant, but since you said it, Ron, I really hate the mentality that people who are in the public eye, who've made a conscious choice to be in the public eye, deserve whatever they get. I really, I really, really detest that. I mean, unless you're an asshole and then you deserve whatever you get, but you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't, that doesn't, that don't, what? Doesn't make any sense. No. That's a no for me, dog. Um, okay, great. So now we did the eyeliner. We're moving on to the lashes. And where is my, where is my lash curler? Midtown Brown Style sent $5. Thank you for the super chat. Thanks, girl. I've never seen that. I've never seen that, that applauding fox. That's adorable. Amber Art, nobody signs up to be abused. Well, I guess unless you're a Nexium. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I don't, those people didn't sign up for that either, but I mean, they really, they really seem like gluttons for punishment, didn't they? Joanna Yoss is here. Joanna Yoss, Yoss. 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 Okay, so I'm using the um, Fenty Full Frontal Mascara. I'm trying to like rotate my mascaras because Again, I really do have so many fabulous ones and I want to use them all. I 
I think a, a, another part of all of that nonsense I was talking about in terms of unsolicited feedback for me is that like, I don't ever feel like my opinion, like I don't put much weight into it. You know what I mean? Like I have my own opinions about fashion and makeup, but I don't, I just keep them in my head. I'm like, okay, I like that. Or like, okay, I'm not into that. But like, I don't, why would I share that with someone? Like, why would they care? Like, it's just, it's, it's an opinion. It's, and it's not even an important one. <laughs> like there are opinions that are important. Those aren't it. So like, I just, I just don't feel entitled like that. And I think that that's really the thing that gets me a lot is, is all of that comes from a place of entitlement. Like you think you, your opinion is that needs to be heard that much and matters that much that you just had to share it, even if it's rude or cruel or negative. Like, I've just never felt that way. I'm like, well, whatever. Guess, guess that's called having a filter. You know, that old thing we forgot about, filters. Tony Page, I just found out that our lovely governor let the mask mandate expire in Mississippi today. Oh, good. Cool. That sounds like a good decision. Definitely. Solid. Solid. Someone said they can hear Randy's crunching. What are you crunching on in there? Crunchy Pork McCrunchins? Rinds. Pork rinds. Okay. Keto. They're actually like really, they're baked pork rinds and they're delicious. Delicious. Wow, really getting mascara all over the place tonight. <laughs> it's a good thing I have this handy dandy Q-tip over here. Okay, we're gonna go back in and fix it. Kelly Lund, this is the Fenty Full Frontal. And again, if you guys miss anything, you can always refer to the description box. All right, we're gonna let that mistake dry. I'm gonna do the other eye. Oh, there are 440 people here. Well, hey there, hi there, ho there. Guys, if you're here and you're watching me curl my lurches, give it a thumbs up. Just, just quick. Just a little boop, boop. Just a little clicky click. So we're doing keto until we go and visit Sarah and Tyler. It's better off red. That was sort of our kickstart. You know, 
for that quarantine. Oh, Pamela Willis, $3. She sent a $3 pair. Thank you. But yeah, like once we go visit them, it's on like the pumpkin beer, the snackins. It's all going to happen. Do you see the results with keto? I, yes. I mean, I definitely, I think it depends on, well, I mean, it depends on a lot of things, but it depends on the person. Randy, I feel like you, he's doing really well on it. I'm doing okay. I'm not like blowing myself away or anything, but, um, yeah, I def definitely feel like less giant and bloated all the time, you know? So that's a plus. All right, I think that's dried now. I'm gonna try to get rid of that. Kathy Jarvis, you have amazing lashes. Oh, thank you. Been using new lash for four years, oh, four weeks. <laughs> Sorry, it's a big difference. Four weeks hoping to catch up with yours. I think it takes, it does take a while. And let me tell you, I use it twice a day, okay? And it really helps. So that's my suggestion. Okay, what did I miss? What, what are people saying here? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so now we're moving on to Blursh. And I am going to, because we're double blushing, so I am going to use my this is a Michelle Wong made me buy it situation. This is the cheek to chic in the shade, the Charlotte Tilbury cheek to chic in the shade first love, which looks really subtle, but this is like one of Michelle's favorite cheek to chics. Um, let me see. Oh, someone just Donna Engel just sent a Venmo a $50 Venmo starter round of drinks when you visit better off red oh my god Donna that's so sweet thank you that's so sweet I know these Wayne Goss blushes, I feel like I need to at least get one. I saw Michelle's video and I really love that azalea shade. It looks gorgeous. I'm going really like light with this <laughs> so I can build it up a little bit more. You see how the lip, like, it literally looks just like a, your lips, but better. You know what I mean? Like, I love, I love using the cloud paints. I kind of forget about it, but I really do love using the cloud paints as um, lip color. Okay, we're coming up on the end here. We're going to do lips and highlighters. So this is from the new... Fenty Gloss Bomb Holidays Collection. This is Cake Shake. 
and I'm obsessed with it. It's sort of like, I mean, it is a little similar to the original gloss bomb. I can't find it right now, but it's a little bit more um, fallish to me, like a little bit more brownie. It's just, I, I actually like it a little bit better than the, I keep on forgetting what the original gloss bomb was called, like the shade, but I like it a little bit better because it has a little bit more oomph to it. And I just think it's a beautiful, sexy nude cake shake. Also the name, like what? Fenty Glow, okay. I have hairs on my lips. Marsha Woods. Hi, Marsha Woods. I don't, I have fussy too. I, that's not what I was referring to, but also kind of in the same vein. I definitely have hairs on my lips. What the hell? Okay. And last, but certainly not least highlighter. I haven't pulled this out in a hot second. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand in the shade Pinkgasm. I first saw this um, on Lisa J. And I remember I texted her and I was like, what the hell are you wearing on your cheeks in this video? And she said, it's the Glowgasm, um, the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm and Pinkgasm. So I bought it. <laughs> and I get some squeezy, squeezy squeezins. Oh, you have to twist. I forget how this works. Oh, you twist it. Wait, what? Oh, 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 okay. Got it. Okay. So that's what it looks like. So gorgeous. You guys know I love a highlighter with like a little bit of a pink shift to it. So this is just, this turned out to be very like a, a very soft, sexy, wearable, dewy look. Oh, that didn't quite. Okay, well. Okay, well, I'm loving this look. I love, it's like totally my kind of vibe. And now I'm gonna finish it off with the, this is something Better Off Red uh, introduced me to. This is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I love how fine the mist is. Just to really finish it off, you know what I mean? Okay, so that's it. Gosh, we survived, we, we, the chat started working. We, we, we made it through the storm. This was so fun. We covered so many topics, so many topics, and I'm almost through my drink. So it's perfect. I guess I have to, what will I cheers? Hold on. Oh, wow. It's tough. It's tough. What should I do? I'm looking at myself trying to decide. How vain is that? Let me stare at myself. Um, okay. I'm going to do a couple things because that's kind of how, oh shoot. It's kind of how this goes now. I'm going to do the glowgasm and the lip gloss and the cloud paint. That's, they're all, they're all, well, they're not all glossy, but Okay, so let's see if I can remember the names. Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm in 
Pinkasm, Cloud Paint and Storm, and Fenty Gloss Bomb and Cake Shake. Good job. Good job. Mm. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I do this every Monday and Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, and if you could... If you can remember before you leave, please please give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you all next Monday. Same time, same place. I have nothing left to drink. But cheers till next time. Bye.